hi welcome back to our youtube channel and in today's video we're gonna talk about the simple do's and don't in online dating so first we're gonna do the intro talk about first the door so first the screen your candidate first so in what way you screen your the like way that I candidate. Screen? yeah the way uh, you screen it. I'm probably unusual the way I chose to screen my candidates I went about it two different ways first way I didn't put a profile up and just went and looked at uh, whoever was sending me messages, given the picture and what was on my profile. Mm -hmm. And then found out that they uh, weren't in line with what I was looking for. And I knew that they weren't in line with what I was looking for. So I decided to create a very long and extensive profile. I copied and pasted it and then sent it out to people that I was interested in. And then waited f to see who well would respond not how long it was going to take so it's to that respond. kind of a impression that who's gonna be the one that gonna ask me some question regarding my profile yes who is going to take the try the time to read what i wrote if they were just gonna ask something that was already in the message that i sent then they weren't worth worth they weren't worth my time of continuing okay and there are a lot of people that don't bother to read it so did i yeah you read it okay he you're, said i read it you're the only one that read it and hence you're here so the next toves is be real so be real authentic be who you are don't try to be somebody you're not okay don't create a profile that's not something that uh, you're not so if you want to elaborate more for that one uh, the video the, the 10 red flags so we talk about that one so you can watch that one for some tips also for the online meeting and the next one would be the attentive to communicate be attentive with your communication Oh, it goes along with your interest in who it is that you are you're screening your candidate and whether or not there's somebody you're truly interested in or not. You want to continue to to talk to them okay um, and not ignore them, not ignore their questions. Uh, unless you're not truly interested, if you're not truly interested in them, so if you're not move on. Tell tell them. Be honest. Move move Excuse on. Me. You're not interested if you're not asking lots of questions with regards to your uh, profile. Not necessarily having to do with profile. If you're just not uh, interested in communicating with them all that much, because maybe there's somebody else that you're more interested in. Okay. So same thing with the person that's talking to you. They they may do the same thing to you. They may not be mm -hmm. talking to you all that much. And if they're not, then you probably should move on. So it's something like, "I'm here. Would you come?" Right that right uh, away. It's usually it's scheduled communication, or if it's letter writing, it's it's daily, or whenever you have an opportunity to get to an internet cafe or. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you have internet but, at home. Um, there are some that uh, kind of, uh, uh, you're not uh, interested because they kind of not anymore interested of replying to my message once I replied that day. Because maybe they think that I didn't uh, reply because maybe I found someone. Maybe. But they didn't know that in our place, we can't go every day to the cafe. No, but they, there's something uh, that people have today that we didn't have when we were dating. The, the, yeah. the Facebook Messenger or FaceTime is pretty instantaneous. So uh, that that wasn't something that we had. Yeah, but we have before uh, Facebook, but 
you're not really want on Facebook much. No, I'm still not much on Facebook. Yeah, he's not much. He has a Facebook. I asked him uh, Facebook, but he don't want much on the Facebook. He wants in the email. We give Entertain's email address. Directly uh, email each other. So the next one will be give a spark for... In what way you gonna do a woman? Yes. Like, what I mean is like a spark like they you send through letters or something a kind of a spark that makes a woman kind of that if they give something mm, that we didn't ask for it like a, a small spontaneous a, a kind of a letters in the mail or even a small gift that uh, that we didn't expect to receive that's a uh, really kind of oh that makes my heart so big <laughs> it's very nice to receive as a man if you get something from uh, like say a woman wants to send a card to you that's her that's an indication that she's really taking you seriously that she's not looking into any other man that she's she's decided to choose you okay because we experienced that uh, i received first time i received a card for him on the mail but he told me that there is something watch out for there is something on the mail that i sent to him really so he's coming oh, what's that so it's kind of a uh ex kind of a little excited for that that someone from uh, far away sending a small a gift that you don't expect. We call that a keeper What's, in my place. What keeper? Keeper. I mean, don't somebody special that uh, you're sending that to. So. Oh, so I'm special. We, it, it's we we just we decided <laughs> that this is a this is a keeper. So if you're receiving that from the from the individual, um, know that. And if you're not interested, be honest. And if you are interested. Uh, stop the screening process right away and and maybe uh, personalize your uh, profile or get off the uh, dating site because mm. you're moving into exclusive territory okay so or sending uh, on a special location also sending some flowers he sent me when we that will apply only if you're an exclusive couples online not just this meeting or chatting and you already give it did you give over it somewhere i don't think so no okay so that's only an exclusive uh couples if you're already uh mutual communicating so much so that's the time that are the man comfortable sending you something so the next one on the dose be realistic in your age range that you're looking for yeah, if yeah, you're well, if you're 18 mm. yeah, don't go looking for a 70 year old <laughs> <laughs> don't so, go looking for an 80 year old because they're not going to take you seriously or uh don't know what what their agenda really is if they're choosing to communicate with because you. It, my place has been two years old is something like Oh, so this one can 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 still go uh, travel. Mm, some can. Oh. Some can. Okay, because my range when I put uh, on the on the side, is I put like a uh, range of thirty three to something like fifty five. That's my range of uh, that I'm looking for, because I want the one higher than my age <laughs> i don't want that was lower than my age so that's another dose that you want to be aware so the next one for the dose is to listen to what to talk about in what way listen to what you're talking about 
so take an wonderful. interest in the conversation um, of his interests. If, you're, uh, if like they that. match your interests, if they don't match your interests, then Person. that's part of the screening process. You tend to move away from the people that aren't interested in what you're interested in, or they're not taking an interest in you. Oh, okay. So that's also one of the do's that you must be aware. Okay, so now we'll go to the don't. First one would be don't ask large quantity of money. So did you experience that? Yeah. Very frequently. Lots of lots of lots of people were sick, people that were people had died. It's like, my goodness, is I'm going to a country where people are sick and they're dying. Do I really <laughs> want to go visit there? But that's what uh, they were experiencing. That there were a lot of, I guess they were trying to exp express a, there's a hardship there, which um, in the internet mm -hmm. era, you can research pretty easily. So mm -hmm. uh, you want to ask, if you're going to ask for money, do so uh, carefully and don't ask for um, a large like amount. Like de demand? Like the no, demand? not demand. Just you don't want to ask for 5,000 pesos in the first couple of... of uh, uh... Because you need a medicine or you need uh, money for the groceries mm -hmm. or something like that. If you're a small amount uh, to help uh, to help with communication. Like uh, we have in my place uh, women that are called gold diggers. They're digging for gold. Okay. So the man is going to screen out... Uh, the woman that's looking for her gold. We do want somebody that we can support and take care of, but we're not looking for someone to treat us like an ATM machine. Okay, so that's the first one don't that you must aware. So the next one would be, don't trust of giving your heart right away. Yeah, wait till you're relationship uh, is developed to an exclusiveness and uh, because you're internet dating and the mm. person's far away mm. uh, take your time don't rush oh it take your time to to mature the relationship yeah, to mature the relationship so the next one would be in relation with don't trust of giving your heart right away don't be presumptuous presumptuous or overly possessive i had an experience that pushed me away from someone um thankfully to mm. to to my beloved but uh this is in the era era of friendster and that was uh, before right they mm. were they had, we had talked for about two weeks and mm -hmm. they put my picture right alongside their picture on friendster and they photoshopped it so that it looked like that we were already a couple and that we were going to be married in a couple of weeks. Okay. It was kind of a, a signature calling card to st other Filipinos, stay away, this is mine. Oh, so and that's you... the first uh, one that you communicated? No, it's, it's one of the first people that I thought yeah. were serious, but serious, I, was still in okay. the, I was still in the screening process a while. Okay. The next one would be don't send naked pictures of yourself to him or her if you if he asks for it try to impress him it may be uh, self-explanatory but you just don't want to there's two reasons why one of two reasons why a guy will ask for uh, naked or revealing photos number one uh, he's trying to compare you with other pictures that he has of other people he may be talking to mm -hmm. in his uh, in his own uh, shallow screening process mm -hmm. or two he most likely chances are he's developing his own website for where he can uh, sell revealing pictures of, of women naked so it's it's demeaning of of uh of the woman and it's not respectful so yeah, that's so that's, that's the way I feel. So that's, it's not a, generally a good idea to do. Okay, so that one is belongs to the don't. So remember and aware for that. So the next one would be don't be 
to aggressive on your conversation. So in what way in a conversation? I guess you just want to not be moving too fast or or having the allow the man to move the relationship too quickly. Uh, faster than uh, like he's trying to get you into bed with him or he's trying to um, make you do something that's not who you are too fast too quickly and uh, not a, never a good idea to rush a relationship uh, period is a it can end badly or you can find yourself in a situation that you don't know how to get out of but that one is you still just on on online you didn't, uh, I mean, for the aggressive foreign conversation, something like you think that he already loves me, something? Moving too fast, too quickly, uh, because you want a man from another country or you want to get married to someone. Uh, oh, something like, oh, when you're gonna visit here, like that? We were saying yeah. move, putting the cart before the horse, uh, just, you just. Slow is always always best when you're online dating. So the opposite of slow would be overly aggressive, trying to um, move it along faster than it Let would naturally out. do. Okay. Also, you think it's a, a ninety day process that you're probably moving too fast. But if you're thinking it's a twelve year process, you're probably moving too slow. Mm. So probably uh, anywhere from a year to. Three years is probably a time frame that would not be considered aggressive. Most of the men that come um, on and online, mm. who, uh, I've heard lots of stories about the men that would travel to meet uh, women from other countries and they want to get married real quickly because they find the woman's really attractive. Uh, they want to move really fast because they don't want to make a lot of expensive trips to the, to the country and waste a little, waste the money when they could just get a relationship and marriage started right away. And then what usually yeah, happens, just... I hear from the women, is they feel trapped or uh, difficulty will arise because you didn't take the time to really get to, to get know, to, know. Uh, to experience difficulty, to experience how problem solving might be with uh, the two of you together once you're together how you solve or resolve conflict whether or not you're in it for the long haul whether or not you can fix a difficulty that shows up mm -hmm. uh, or whether or not you have the, um, a level of humility whether or not he has a level of forgiveness and patience you can't yes. find that out in in, yeah, in, in, th in 30 days one. you can't find that out and you, know, you can find it out in in 90 days but uh, mo a lot of people are good at hiding things. Many companies, not relating relationship to a company, but you, there's a reason why a lot of companies, when they hire an employee, they'll have a 90-day trial period because most people can't hide who they really are for more than 90 days. That's when stuff starts to to slip and, and to, you start to, the real person gets to be revealed. Uh, but it's usually gradually and you won't see the full... Uh, picture of the person probably until oh, a that's year right, or two. Oh, that's background check, right? Uh, the background check is to make sure uh, the country wants to make sure that whoever they're bringing in the country is not a criminal. That's why they do a background check. But it is beneficial to, to both people so you you know what you're getting into. I remember when we were in Manila mm. and there was a couple, um, I overheard the interview, mm. uh, it was just a woman. Her fiancé wasn't, uh, wasn't with her for the interview, which is not uncommon. But one of the things the the uh, person at the agency who was interviewing the girl was saying, she goes, you, you know, he's a convicted felon and he's been convicted of domestic abuse twice. And she shook her head. She understood that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether he had rehabbed himself or not, but uh, that wasn't really my business. But I, I got the sense that they probably moved, that maybe they moved too fast or maybe they moved... Uh, at a perfectly good rate. Mm -hmm. She could have been just communicating through uh, letters. You're really taking uh, taking a, a, a risk because they haven't come to visit you, but it, it's just an example. So you want to take Make your sure. time and get to know the person as the bottom line. Don't rush. But there are women that 
they lost their patient for that. Not me, but some other one. They they don't do the one. That's uh, uh patient. They have a they have a saying: only fools rush in. So, like I said, you need to be uh, patience. Uh, I see far more. Have have seen witnessed uh, far more people that have rushed into a relationship too quickly and have it end very badly. Okay. So the last one would be don't be fake. You just want to be authentic. You want to be who you are. Uh, don't yeah. Don't oh. be someone you're not. You are not kind of... in, the, in the online or in the when you meet him. Either. Meet? Either. Whether oh, you're online or whether you first meet, you want to be who you are. Okay, so don't you're pretend gonna... to be somebody you're not. So you're gonna say if I'm upset, oh, you're... if you're really upset, be upset. If you're, you're not... really upset with somebody, mm. be upset with them. Don't be afraid to be upset or have the persona uh, that so you're. I, I tell the tell or the facade. You wanna... that you're sad or something bothers you. Yeah, okay. most people would rather know that early on mm. but a lot of us just try to hide that and don't want to show it because they think that the person might run away once they find out oh i made them mad or they've been mad they're mad at did, me can be did you, uh, oh yeah when was that one you're sad some or something mm -hmm. you share that to me yeah he's sad from something and he he shared that to me and um uh, i'm just listen to him so one is you just listening is really meant to be the understanding. So once he's uh, talking, they're going to appreciate you just by there and uh, think that they are not alone. You build a stronger relationship by being who you are being real um, and em emotionally able to share with them what it is a comment that they made that was hurtful or uh, something they did that was hurtful but you gotta be able to uh, give and take when you when, if someone's out being that open and honest with you about something you, you gotta be at the same uh, unless you don't want to be uh, same forgiving and open and understanding as uh, the person was is being open and honest with their feelings about what hurt them that's what my husband give you some tips so that you must be aware of so thank you for watching guys and i hope you get another sort of uh, information regarding the dose and don't on online dating so don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel uh, my husband jonathan and cecil bill and see you in the next video uh, if you search for someone uh, looking for a serious relationship a christian filipina dating site so see you in the next video bye